Do I look great in my new top? Do we like it? I've just received the most exciting parcel ever. I won't disclose my address, but you guys are not ready for this. As you know, we're all currently in lockdown. We can't leave the house. We can't really do anything apart from stay at home. And I think it's really making us draw on all our creative juices. Like we're really clutching at straws for things to do now. We're three weeks in and I am losing my mind. So I got a little bit inspired. I thought, you know, I've done my fair share of baking, but we're about to up the game. I went online. Oh boy, I'm excited. She's gonna tie dye. I did actually have a little bit of a tie dyeing phase in my youth. If I find a photo of me wearing one of my wonderful creations, I'll insert it here. Um, but that was back in the day, many years ago, back in my childhood. I have seen, well, you know, I was scrolling Urban Outfitters, as you do, and I was like, oh, oh, hello, is this tie-dye clothing I see? Guys, tie-dye is coming back, and we are gonna use this vast amount of spare time to get ahead of the trend. She's gonna become a self-declared tie-dye queen. Am I gonna, shall I do a little dye haul? We have sunflower yellow. Nice. Ocean blue. Forest green. And then we have smoke grey. But I'm so excited. Shall we get tie dyeing? First of all, I need to find something to tie dye. My t shirts that I'm going to tie dye have arrived. They are here. They're just white t shirts. Well, they're not just white t shirts. This is war deck apparel. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tie dye them. I'm gonna do them, I've got six to do. I'm gonna do them all slightly differently with different colors. I don't know whether to just do one first and see how that goes. Probably should do just one first. Would be a good idea considering how much I spent on these t-shirts. Let's get tie dyeing. Right, so it's a few days later and I've successfully completed my practice run and I'm very happy with the outcome. This is the final product. This is exactly what I wanted it to look like. Well done me. Apparently I'm a tie-dyeing expert. Who knew? So I'm going to do all of them like this, while kind of this blotching style with different colours. And I'm going to take you through how I did it. How you achieved this look. Also, excuse what I look like this morning. Um, I don't really have an excuse. This is just what my face looks like a lot of the time. But I feel like this morning it's just exceptionally bad. Um, sorry about that. So I'm just going to put on my tie-dyeing apron because we don't want all my clothing to be tie-dye. So you need a few things to start the tie-dyeing process. You need your dyes, obviously very important. I am just putting them in like old plastic bottles. Great hack if you don't want to like spend loads of money on like a tie-dyeing kit. And I just screwed a hole in the top of them. So these are the two colours I used yesterday. And then I'm just going to make up the other two colours I have. So for the dye, I take the dye packet and I kind of add roughly 10 grams of dye is what kind of worked for me in the last t-shirt so i've just got a scale so i can actually measure this out properly and then to that i'm also adding a couple of teaspoons of salt i don't really know why people add salt but that's what everyone says to do so i just do it and then you want to add about 250 milliliters of warm water so once the dyes are all prepared, you just need to then prepare the t-shirts. So what you need to do is you need to run them under water to get them all damp and then wring them out. I'm getting really cold hands. And then you're going to need to crumple and band them. Now the way you prepare your t-shirt decides what pattern the tie-dye kind of settles into the top. So this is actually kind of an important stage. For the blotchy kind of effect that I want to go for, you kind of just go for a crumple. So just kind of roughly bring it all in together like this. And then once you have that all together, 
you just need to elastic band it up so it stays in place, which is easier said than done, like so. So I find about four elastic bands is a good amount. So I'm just going to do this to all of them. Oh, Are oh, you joking me? So now you need some rubber gloves because you don't want to dye yourself, you want to dye the fabric. This is a nightmare to get on. In hindsight, probably should have labelled what dyes were in what bottle because it's not very obvious. Um, so that's top advice. And now you just kind of let your creative juices flow out your body onto your clothing. Right, I'm going to do... No, yes. Mm. I'm going to do... No, I'm going to do... Okay, I'm there. Having a bit of a creative blockage. Hang on, is this the right... This is not the colour. I wanted this colour. Oh, guys, really write the colour of your dye on the bottle. And then make sure you have bags to put them in once they are dyed. Oh, this is an efficient way to do it. I'm liking the spray bottle. My only worry with these ones, the yellow ones, is there's kind of patches of green and stuff from the bag on them. What does yellow and green make? Um, art was never my forte in school. Although I do actually want to get gifted and talented in art. I think that was more when my teacher liked me unless she actually thought I had any talent or she actually drew a lot of my stuff for me because I couldn't draw so I was like Liz, can you draw this for me? and then she looked at my artwork and was like that's really good forgetting that she actually did it herself maybe that's why I was gifted I think that's what yeah you know what that was why I was gifted and talented in art my teacher thought my work was great but she actually did it all herself so I don't want it like bright yellow, I want it kind of pastel and yellow. I don't know how you make it pastel and not, not pastel, I don't know if it's the strength of the dye or how long you leave the dye on for, who knows. We're going to go with that, I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to get yellow, mixing it up. I think the grey acts nicely, it's just kind of a buffer to the colours, that's kind of what I'm using it as. It's kind of Urban Outfitters vibes is what I'm going for. Going. Good, I think. It yeah, it's not the most cleanest of processes. No, no, no. This one though, this is a great shout. The squirty bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a effect, Very mess free as well though. I'm getting pins and needles in my feet now. That's nice. No pain, no gain. Uh, ow. ow! Oh, I can't feel my feet. That's really quite painful. Right, they're all done. So I don't know if I've actually already mentioned, but I'm making these t-shirts for each of my flatmates at uni. Um, just as like a little token to remember our three years at uni together by. Well, I'm going to send them off to them once they're all done and washed and ready. Hopefully they like them. If they don't, then it's something they can give to the charity shops. But yeah, I think it's time to check them. This is my favourite part of the whole process. The big reveal, you could say. So I'm going to check the yellow ones. The gloves are making a comeback. Okay, this one's a bit whiter than I was expecting. The green is greener than I expected. It's not as like pastely, but I, I like it. Do I look great in my new top? Do we like it? Do we like it? So I've got the finished masterpieces and all in all, I'm very happy with how they look. So this is kind of the green, blue, grey combo. Then we have the blue and green, the green and grey, and this is one of the yellows and greys. I like this, it's very marbly, very cool. Kind of subtle, but still like cool. Um, but my second, 
My second yellow one, I'm not quite as happy with it. It, it's, it feels very white. Like it doesn't feel like it's been tie-dyed at all. And I think it was because the yellow, I used a squeezy bottle instead of pouring it so the dye didn't actually penetrate deep into the t-shirt. So whilst I was raving about the squeezy bottle, I'm liking the spray bottle. This one though, this is a great shout. The squirty bottle. Don't think it's actually an efficient tie-dyeing technique. So, so I'm gonna try and tie-dye this again. I don't know if double tie-dyeing will work or whether it'll just kind of make it super colored. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it because I'm not happy with this. It's an experiment. It's all ready to have it dye number two. I'm just putting my gloves on. These gloves are near next to impossible to put on when you have damp hands. I'm not going to squeeze the yellow this time. I'm going to pour it. I feel like that will get me the best results. Okay, in the sink is a much cleaner way of doing it. God, these are a nightmare. They literally stick to you. Oh my god. So I can confirm the second tie-dye was a complete success. It looks so much better now, like it's actually yellow and stuff. I am such a fan. So yeah, that's it. I have successfully tie-dyed all these tops and I'm very happy with them. Um, so I'm gonna send them off to my friends now, package them up, send them off for Coria collection tomorrow and hopefully they'll be with them by the end of the week. So I'm about to go on FaceTime with my flatmates. I've sent them all their tops and I've told them not to open them until we are on a FaceTime. So it's gonna be nice to see their reaction and I thought it'd be a nice way to conclude the vlog as well. So, um, hello. Okay, let's open. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> oh my God. God. Oh, oh, that is, I don't know what the fuck. The world oh is. Everyone's got different colours. Did you tie-dye these yourself? Oh my god. Anna, thank you so much. I'm never taking this. That is so funny. Honestly, that is such a cool logo. We look like we're in a band. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get tie-dyeing too. And most importantly, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more quality content.